In this video, I'm going to be talking about going from a entrepreneur to an entrepreneur. Hey, what's going on you guys? Benjamin here with Motivational Marketer. And in this video, I want to talk about a few things that set apart an entrepreneur from people who say they want to be an entrepreneur or in other words, a entrepreneur. Now, some people, they might like to throw that word around entrepreneur just freely because they just like the way that it sounds when they attach it to their name. But being an entrepreneur is not all about like glitz and glamour like most people think it is. Being an entrepreneur actually requires a lot of work, dedication and perseverance. Now, I'm going to be actually sharing a few things that make entrepreneurs successful. But before I get into this video, I just want to first welcome you guys to my channel, Motivational Marketer. And if this is your very first time here and you're interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online, then I invite you to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so the first characteristic that entrepreneurs have is that they tend to hang around people that are like-minded. So they hang around people who are on the same path that they're on. They don't usually hang around with people that are just like playing video games all day who are just wasting time. If an entrepreneur is trying to reach a goal, then they're going to hang around with people who are like-minded and have the same characteristics. So most successful entrepreneurs, they usually have a small circle of friends that they hang around with because those are going to be like-minded people who have goals that they're trying to achieve as well. So when you hang around with somebody who's trying to achieve a goal the same way you are, then more than likely you're going to push each other and motivate each other to succeed. If you're somebody who has a large circle, I mean, more than likely, not everybody is going to be like-minded in that circle. Most people are just going to be interested in partying, going out, going out to eat, just being social. Very few of them are going to be actually business-minded and focusing on goals that are going to benefit them in the long run. So basically, entrepreneurs, they don't really like to hang around with people that I call fair-weather friends meaning people that are just acquaintances or that you just hang around with like when the times are good. Now, another characteristic of a successful entrepreneur is that they set goals for themselves. They actually take the time to sit down and write goals that they're trying to achieve. If you're somebody that says that you have goals that you want to achieve, but you never actually put any action behind it, I mean, how do you expect those goals to get accomplished? You have to plan how you're going to get them done and then take action. Now this is something that entrepreneurs do. They set goals for themselves and they set a plan on how they're going to attain that goal. They make it manageable so they can make progress to reach that goal. Whatever goal that you're trying to attain, it doesn't even have to be business related. If you're trying to lose weight, you need to set a goal on how much weight you need to lose and how you're going to plan how you plan on losing that weight. If you plan on starting a business, you need to sit down and write the goals that you need to accomplish to create that business. What kind of business is it going to be and how are you going to get it done? And you need to practice measured steps that are going to bring you closer and closer to achieving that goal. Now, a third characteristic that entrepreneurs have is that they have a tendency to take risk because like they say, no risk, no reward. Entrepreneurs know that starting a business is risky because there's a good chance that you're going to lose money if you're starting a business because you're investing your money into a business that you're not too sure if it's going to fail, but you're just hoping for the best and you're putting in the effort into it to make it succeed. Now, most entrepreneurs, they don't really want to take a risk because they don't want to lose money. I mean, obviously, nobody really wants to lose money, but there's not going to be a reward in, if there's no risk. They might just have the mindset like, oh, okay, I'll watch somebody else risk it. And if I see that they get a reward from it, then I'm going to try it. But it's just like an old expression, scared money doesn't make money. Now, the fourth characteristic of a successful entrepreneur is that they have perseverance. They keep on going whenever they experience failure or setback after setback. They just keep on trying. They get themselves up. They dust themselves off and they keep on going. Most people who are entrepreneurs, they, they quit the first time that they fail at something new. And just to give you guys a hint, when you're starting a brand new business, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to fail. You're going to experience a setback, but you shouldn't let that stop you because that's all a part of the learning experience. Most people who are entrepreneurs, they really don't want to make a mistake because they fear that they might look stupid in front of other people or what if they fail? What is their family or friends going to think about them? But an entrepreneur, they persevere no matter what. They might fail, but they're going to make it happen regardless. Now, the fifth characteristic of an entrepreneur is that they need to have discipline. You need to practice discipline in your business if you want to grow it. 
If you're somebody who lacks discipline, if you'd rather go out to the club, go out with your friends, go out drinking, rather than putting in time and effort into growing your business, I mean, that's not really going to help your business. I like to think of starting a brand new business as like a baby. You need to feed it and nurture it so that it'll grow and actually one day eventually take care of you financially. You need to have a certain type of commitment, maybe going to bed at a certain time, waking up at a certain time, putting in a certain amount of hours into growing your business. And sometimes you just got to tell your friends, no, you can't go out to the club because, I mean, you got bigger priorities. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go out at all and have fun because Honestly, we all need to take a break and just go out and take a breather, step away from our work once in a while, and just go unwind. But I'm not saying that go out and party all the time like you're Eddie Murphy, or go hit the clubs every weekend. Now, I think this is what a lot of people are lacking when it comes to growing a business, because they need to practice discipline. Now, if you're somebody who is lacking any of these skills, then I suggest that you start working on them. Now, I'm not saying that if you're missing any of these characteristics, then you aren't an entrepreneur because I do need to work on some of these characteristics myself. But if you're somebody who's not even willing to adopt and practice these habits, then it's just going to be a lot harder for you. So are you somebody who just likes to call himself an entrepreneur because you like the way it sounds whenever somebody asks you what you do for a living? Or does the term entrepreneur apply to you because you just don't like the idea of working for somebody else and making their dream happen? When you know you can be working for yourself and working towards your own dream. You see, everybody wants to be a boss until it actually comes down to doing what a boss does. Which is taking responsibility, dealing with setbacks, risking losing money, and having a mindset of a delayed gratification. So just ask yourself, are you really about that life? So I just wanted to talk about how you can go from being a entrepreneur to an entrepreneur. So I hope this video helped you out and hopefully these tips will help you create the mindset of an entrepreneur. If you guys got any value from this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this video. And if you're somebody who's looking to create an online business, but you don't know where to get started, check out the first link in the top of the description to learn more. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.